Now it's time for the Rock Over London interview slot and chatting with our man Paul Sexton this week is Mick Glacier, drummer with the Comsat Angels, or the CS Angels as they're known in America. They've made a lot of friends with the four albums they've released over the last few years, especially their last LP, Land. We'll hear about the reasons for that change of name in a moment. But first, Paul talked to Mick about the Angels' new release. Mick, our reaction to uh, You Move Me on Rock Over London was that it was a uh, big country with a touch of Flock of Seagulls thrown in. Fair comment? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd like that. Yeah. We were simply trying to get back to some sort of um, rock feel we had a couple of years ago. We've always seemed to um, enjoy playing rock much more than maybe pop music, um, both actually. We just, we just thought it was a good synthesis of maybe the last album and some of the early stuff we used to do. It's funny you should mention Big Country actually because it's usually U2 that gets mentioned with this particular track. But there is a connection with the Flock of Seagulls of course because the record was produced by Mike Howlett who's worked with them in the past. Yeah, true. Um, I think any producer will have certain trademarks within the different bands he works with, I'm sure. Yeah. Simple Minds have a similar Steve Lilly White sound. Uh, although intrinsically the music's very different in my opinion. Now you came down especially from Sheffield to, to talk to us today and I gather that the rest of the band still live, live up in Sheffield as well. Yeah. We have deep roots in Sheffield and we all come from that area. We work in London a lot. We don't really relate to it that well. You were one of the founder members of the Comsat Angels, weren't you? Yes, yes. I, I've known Steve from school for years. Uh, we're in school bands together. When we left school we split up uh, for a year or two, he went to art college. That's Steve, the lead singer? Yeah, Steve Fellows. Phoned me up a couple of years later, actually, and said, phoned me a band, and um, we'd like to come along. We were awful, actually, to start with, and we had a couple of, sort of extraneous musicians who were not really into it at all, and they soon left. Now, your first three albums were on uh, Polydor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very well received critically and all that. Mm. No great sales, really, were there, in this country, anyway? No. I said to Frank Silver, our manager, I, said, I told him a year before we finally split with Polydor that I saw the signs that we should leave this label and look for something else. And Jive Records came along and, yeah. and something of a new sound as well when you signed with them. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of new enthusiasm within the band, you know. See, Jive signed us not on what we'd done before with Polydor, but on new songs. Now in America, you, you're known uh, by a slightly different name for, for good old contractual reasons, aren't you? That's, yeah. that's the CS Angels. That's great, yeah. Why is that? Uh, well, there's a large um, multinational over there called Comsat Incorporated. We make parts for spaceships, etc. Somehow, I don't know, they found out about us even in the early days and said, well, if you ever come to these shows, don't expect to be able to play any gigs because we'll injunct the lot. And we thought it was so unfair. You know, we thought, how could we possibly influence or slur your name at all? We're in a completely different business, you know. Even now, you know, it's still CS Angels, unfortunately. OK, mate, well, thanks very much for coming all the way down from Sheffield on a very rainy day to see us. No, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to play the, the new record now. Here's the Comsat Angels on Rock Over London with You Move Me.
The Comsat Angels and You Move Me, and many thanks to Mick Glacier for making that long trip. 